Hey, it's Jeremy here, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the repeat grid in Adobe Illustrator. So first up, you can see here, I've got this cool icon. I've got a couple of axes, which is good for like a game or something like that. And what I'm gonna do is gonna use the repeat grid on this. So you wanna click on the top left menu, click object, then go down to repeat and click on grid. Once you click that, what's gonna happen is the object of those axes that I have selected, it's basically gonna duplicate it inside a grid. So it sort of works similar to a pattern, but with a pattern it actually turns it into a swatch. This doesn't get turned into a swatch. It basically just lives out in the, um, the shape on the artboard. So you can see here, I can actually move it around. I can increase the size of the actual um, boundary of the box. So if I wanna scale it to the size of the background, but it doesn't, you can see it increases the size of the overall grid. I can increase or decrease the grid vertically and horizontal by see these white, um, you know, rounded bars here. I can move that and that's gonna increase that. So I'm just gonna bring this up and then scale it down to make it fit the artboard. It's really cool. Then on the top left, what you can actually do on the box, you can see I can increase the space of the vertical as you can see like that. So if I click the box, I can move that. And then there's another white um, arrows here as well that I can increase that. So overall, I can bring this down, which is really cool and have a nice little grid there. I can also, you know, scale the main instance down and it should actually decrease the size of everything if you decrease the size of one of them. So I'm just going back to the original object. So you can see um, I can only select the top left. Everything else is can't select it because this object here was my main object to start with. As you can see, it changes all the other um, axes. So I'm gonna just control Z and I think that looks like a good size. I'm gonna just decrease, uh, sorry, increase the size here. And if you don't like dragging these little bar, um, bars here, you can go to the top left and adjust um, it that way. I find it easier. I can just use my scroll wheel and adjust it on the top left corner menu. I think that's really cool. And basically that's how you use it. And I'm just gonna decrease the opacity of um, the axes here. I can decrease the opacity here. Um, keep in mind that the grid makes it into a clipping group. So you can see if I double click, it's actually in a clipping group. So, you know, I can unmask it or unclip it if I want, but I'll just leave it at that. And then maybe I wanna add like some typography or something like that. But like Hunter, um, I'll add Nixon, make it big. And cool, maybe I want to have something like cool or whatever. Just playing around now. Making it fun. I can always go back, decrease that. Maybe I want to like, you know, add a blending mode. I can add blending modes as well. Um, overlay. I think multiply. Multiply usually works the best there. And there we go. That's how you use the repeat grid feature. So thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if this is useful. Smash the like button. Let's me know if you want more of this content and hit subscribe because it helps me grow the channel. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I'll chat to you in the next tutorial.